Grasshoppers and katydids are both insects, and they have long back legs used for jumping. They have exceptional chewing mouth parts used to tear through grasses and leaves. They are close relatives, so they look very similar to each other, and people are confused which one is which sometimes. Then, how can we distinguish them? Depending on their types, grasshoppers and katydids look very different. However, grasshoppers usually have a slimmer body, and katydids have a more round or robust body shape that resembles a leaf. Both grasshoppers and katydids have antenna, which are also called feelers because they are used for sensing. In most cases, grasshoppers' antenna are short and thick. Katydids, however, have long and thin antenna, which are as long as or even longer than their body. Both grasshoppers and katydids have auditory organs to sense the vibrations. These are called tympana. Grasshoppers have these tympana on their abdomen, which is behind their third pair of legs. Katydids, on the other hand, have these on each foreleg. The ovipositor is an organ used to lay eggs. Female grasshoppers do not usually have a visible or long ovipositor, but female katydids do. Actually, female katydids have a long and more visible ovipositor. The ovipositor looks different as well, so some look like sickles and some look like swords. Grasshoppers are usually diurnal, so they are active during the day. You can see them better in the daytime. Katydids are primarily nocturnal, so they are more active during the night. However, this does not mean that you cannot see katydids during the day. You can still find male katydids making sounds to attract females during the day. Usually, grasshoppers feed on grasses, but they will eat many other plants as well. Some types of grasshoppers are omnivorous, so they eat other insects or dead animals for protein. But katydids eat anything from vegetation, pollen, and nectar to other insects in their own exoskeletons after molting. Both grasshoppers and katydids create sounds, but the areas and methods they make sounds with are different. Grasshoppers, depending on the species, have two ways to make noise. The first, which is more common, is called stridulation. This is when grasshoppers rub the bristles on their back legs against the hardened forewing. The other way is called crepitation. This is the cracking sound, and their wings sometimes make this sound when they fly and leap. Katydids, however, use a different method. They produce sounds by rubbing a special part on their forewings together, which creates vibrations in a more high-pitched noise than grasshoppers can make. Now you know how to tell the differences between grasshoppers and katydids. That's all I have for today. Thank you.